another exciting week in Tesla news. All right, first off, I have to make a confession. I'm always reading about Tesla. I'm not sure why it's just an electric car, but it's an awesome electric car. So anytime I've got a spare moment, I'm looking and checking the forms and the news and Google and listening to podcasts such as Ride the Lightning and Talking Tesla and News from the Front. A lot of cool people putting out videos and audio podcasts. Thank you so much. It's, it's always good to hear from other Tesla people. People that either own Teslas or are really excited about Tesla and what they're doing. So every week I'm going to try and gather all the stuff that I've been paying attention to and the most interesting stories that I think are worth talking about, I'll put on the show. So, self-driving car news. It's, it's getting exciting. <laughs> I, I was really excited in Teslas um, when they finally announced that they were going to add autopilot capabilities. That's when I really started looking to getting a Tesla. I was kind of thinking of looking into getting a used one because they were coming down because the new ones were coming out and I thought, no, I really want the autopilot. So I had to figure out a way to get the autopilot. General Motors is buying uh, Cruise Automation, a San Francisco-based developer of autonomous vehicle technology. It's pretty interesting. They're not saying exactly, but it's going to be more than $1 billion of combined cash and stock. So GM, they, they want to, uh, <laughs> like, they want to they move in on Tesla's turf. They, they know that's the future, so they want to, instead of building it in-house, they're acquiring. Or maybe they're acquiring to suppress because that company was going to make, like, retrofit for older cars, and a GM's all about, like, you buying new cars. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with that technology when they buy it. George Hotz, GeoHot, if you remember him from hacking the iPhone and the PS3, he started his own little company, uh, Comadat AI. He's planning to make retrofit sensors for vehicles to make them autonomous or semi-autonomous driving like the Tesla. So his, his little startup's doing good. He had an, a profile done by Forbes saying that it was worth $20 million. And NVIDIA gave him $30,000 worth of GPUs to put in his little Acura and test it out. He got in a little bit of trouble with the state because they thought he was operating a level four, you know, fully autonomous type of vehicle. And really, he's trying to say that it's just a level three, like what the Tesla is, where the user's still in control. It's just the vehicle's automating, you know, some of the steering and it's not, it's not fully automated. Interesting stuff. Lots of... Lots of companies jumping on the bandwagon. It'll be fun to see. What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, are people excited about you know self-driving cars enough that it's really going to be worth it for companies to invest in it, or are people afraid of it? <laughs> uh, there's a video that was put out by another Tesla user. Cool video. He showed um, how well the sensors work on the Tesla with the summon feature. He put a big stuffed teddy bear type thing in front of it. And the sensors didn't see it because sonar absorbs, it absorbed the sonar, it didn't bounce off of it, and it hit it. He also tried a bucket. Um, if the bucket was kind of out of the way, the sensor didn't really detect it, but for the most part, it, it, it saw the bucket. And then he tried his kid, which I don't know if I would do that with my kid. That's a little bit risky. Uh, and the kid was trying to move out of the way because the car was coming at him. He's like, no, don't move, it'll stop. And he was right behind him so he could pick him up or get him out of the way, but... I don't know, it came really close to the little kid, and I, I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but it was safe, it worked, it stopped. In my garage, I've noticed, though, I had a table that was kind of diagonal a little bit, and it didn't see it in the sensors, and it did touch the bumper. I mean, I think it stopped, like, right as it hit it. I mean, it was definitely hitting it, but it didn't leave a mark or anything on the bumper, so that's good. Uh, I know some people have reported bikes and things that the sensors didn't see. So if you got like a bike and the wheels kind of like out in front of the car, it might not detect that and it might hit the bike tire. So it's not perfect. This particular sensor suite in the Tesla is made for you to watch it and be able to hit that switch, uh, the dead man thing, so that you can like let off and it'll stop. Or if you have that off, you know, make sure you hit stop. Yeah, and you have to account, there's about a second delay. Luckily, the car is really slow, but. That's besides Wayne, uh, the other guy that helps on the Two Smart Guys show. He was going to put his foot in front of the tire and see if the sensor picked it up. And I told him, no way, it's a 5,000 pound car. It's totally going to run over your foot. <laughs> so he took his shoe off and put it in front of it. Not only did it start to run over the tip of the shoe, but it sucked it in under the car. So that probably wouldn't have felt very good. Um, <laughs> so I don't recommend that. I noticed when backing out of my driveway, sometimes... 
I'll stand close enough so it'll, uh, it'll maneuver around me and my house uh, when it pulls out. And if I have my feet facing where the tires are, it gets really close to my toes. So it's, yeah, if things are down low, it doesn't see them. Model X news. Model X, they are now receiving vehicle VIN numbers up in the 5,000 range. Tesla's kind of got the hang of putting these things together and they're, they're cranking them up. They want to do 1,000 per week. And they're sending out notifications to everybody with the 90 size kilowatt batteries, the, uh, the performance and the non-performance versions. That way they can get in line and some of them are reporting getting theirs delivered as soon as April, May possibly June, but they moved up the schedule quite a bit. A lot of people were thinking they wouldn't get them until the summertime. And if you order now, they're still saying it's about six months. It's kind of kind of exciting. They got the Model X coming out. I'm a little bit interested, but it doesn't have the range. Maybe if the, they come out with a 100 kilowatt battery, that might be something I might be more interested in trading my Tesla for some someday down the road, which leads me to the next news. Uh, the Model S hacking. <laughs> There's a gentleman uh, doing a little bit of hacking with batteries. He actually took some old batteries and he made a storage system for his house for his solar. So he could go off grid using the, the Tesla batteries. And he was playing with the firmware and he noticed that there's a, a P100D badge. And he says it's been in there for months, for a couple months now. So that means Tesla is coming out with a 100 kilowatt battery soon. I mean, we know they're eventually going to come out with one, but it's, it's going to be, you know... Maybe it's going to happen at the, the Model 3 event. Because when they reveal the 3, you know, they're also going to have to say something about the Model S to keep people, you know, wanting to buy the Model S as opposed to the 3. So there's going to have to be some feature differences. Uh, also, uh, Strabble was saying in, in an article, which may or may not have been recently, depending on, on which article you read, but supposedly he said that there's going to be a major firmware update coming for the Model S and X before the Model 3 announcement, which means it's going to happen any day now. So that would be, that would be really exciting if that's true. Um, comment below if you've heard anything about that. Uh, one of the articles I read said it was, it was in a video that he, he, talked, he, he was talking, and then another article said that was old, and then another article said, no, no, this is a newer one, and I couldn't get a handle on if this is old news, and he's just talking about autopilot, or if this is new, new news, and they're really going to come out with some enhanced autopilot features uh, before the Model 3. In some slightly more depressing news, I, I, sh I should keep this as like a segment or something. It's the EV mass adoption and uh, FUD, the fear, <laughs> uncertainty, and doubt. Or a couple episodes ago that the Koch brothers were going to be spending uh, $10 million in campaigns and trying to do like little phony news articles and things to convince people that, oh, electric cars are bad and Sure enough, they just posted the first one, and it's, it's kind of kind of not cool. What they put in there was like, why are taxpayers being forced to subsidize the lifestyle choices of the wealthiest 20%? Uh, Elon fired back in a tweet, and he's like, well, wait a second here. In this study by the International Monetary Fund, fossil fuels are subsidized at $10 million a minute, is what the estimate was for last year. So that's a 5.3... Uh, TN, is it trillion dollars? Or that's, that's a lot of money. It's a whole lot. There, anyways, it boils down to t uh, $10 million a minute of every day for the past year. If they're saying, if the oil industry is saying, oh, well, that's not fair that you're giving subsidies to you know, EV owners. Um, well, the whole point of the subsidy is so that companies can invest in the technology to get it to the point where it can be mass market. And that's what's happened. I mean, Tesla did it successfully. They had the Roadster, which was a crazy out there car and pretty pricey. And then when they came out the S, they had versions of it that were half that price. And now they have the Model 3 that's coming out that's gonna be half that price and it's really gonna be affordable. There really needs to continue to be subsidies. There's other countries just do amazing things for helping people get electric cars and get all the pollution out of the air and less emissions. Uh, some of the people that were posting on, on the comments on these videos, they were telling me about the subsidies and how um, accommodating the government is and they, they put in the charging infrastructure and they, they help you out with getting uh, the tax credits on the vehicle and way more than what they're doing in the US. And ours is gonna end. They're only doing 200,000 per manufacturer on that, that federal tax credit of the 7,500. So that means Tesla's already got over 100,000 vehicles and they've got like another 40 some thousand 
reserved or they're building right now. So that means in two years, when the Model 3 comes out, there may not be any subsidies. And that's why Elon's always saying it's a $35,000 car, period. He's not saying after subsidies like GM's doing. GM is saying, well, our car is going to be under, you know, $30,000 after subsidies. So they're pricing it at exactly $3,700, $500 or $499 or whatever it is to get them like right at the $30,000 mark or right a hair below it. Because they haven't made a whole lot of EVs uh, they, or they haven't sold a whole lot of EVs. So by the end of this year, when the Bolt comes out, there'll still be a few of those left. So they can claim it. Let me know what you think. Do you think uh, it's fair to be given subsidies to electric vehicles as opposed to non-electric vehicles? Or do you think um, they should do more to support the EV mass adoption? Let, let me know what you think. Uh, back to the hacking on the, on the Model S, it was another interesting little note. The guy that was hacking the Model S sent Elon a little tweet with a hashtag saying, I, look what I found. And uh, then they tried to roll back his firmware to an earlier version. Uh, Tesla did, is what he's claiming. Elon replied back, no, I didn't, I didn't tell him to do that. So it's just kind of interesting. And they'll also uh, say, say, Tesla does not want you hacking their car. <laughs> um, not because they don't think it's cool. Originally, if you look at the very first videos when Tesla was putting out a prototype Model S, people were talking about being able to hack the car and put in your own interface and media player. And he's like, oh, yeah, 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 we'll do apps and all that. But this summer at the convention I went to, they were saying, well, you know, we'd like to give people access to do more with the vehicles, but because there's so few of the vehicles out there right now, and they're under such scrutiny, like anything that goes wrong with the Tesla, the media blows it up and be like, oh, those electric cars are horrible. They explode into flames if you look at them funny. So they just want to be like super careful to, for, to, for the time being until they can really get a bunch of them out there and people are, are, and people are comfortable enough to be, you know, riding in electric cars as like the majority of, of small vehicles. Now, don't get me wrong, I think that gas cars are going to be here for a long time, especially trucks and very large semis and things, and industrial equipment, because there's just, that's a lot of energy. I think they'll eventually become more hybrid, and it'll shift over time, but it, I think it's quite a few years out, like tens of years, dozens of years, before we really move to you know, pure electric. All right, so that, that's, that's about it for the major news that I thought was like super exciting for the week. Let me know if I missed anything. Comment in, on it below and maybe I'll bring it up next week. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see in these videos or anything that you'd like me to cover. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Please subscribe and uh, I'm on Twitter at Walking Crow. Uh, email pox at twosmartguys.com. And don't forget to check out the Two Smart Guys show. We're gonna be posting some cool little videos on hacking your own personal electronics and stuff. Come out and play! Uh, like when they do music videos and, and there's a beat and it kind of goes blurry, like, you know, like, like with the bass, like... <laughs>